The North Koreans have uh, enabled, empowered someone to discuss the summit with the Americans. The U.S. have sent a delegation to Asia to prepare as if this June 12th summit is still on. Personnel is policy, and that's critical here. What do we know about the folks that the U.S. has uh, delegated to speak on its behalf? Uh, I understand one of them is a former U.S. ambassador to South Korea, which is a different tack than what the president had been taking before. Absolutely. And in addition to that, Scarlett, there's also a CODEL, as it's called in Washington, a bipartisan group of lawmakers set to meet in Singapore this week. This was previously scheduled. And President Trump's advance team is actually also over there in Singapore laying the groundwork of that. So all systems, uh, or all signs really point to all systems ago in terms of this meeting on June 12th in Singapore. But at the end of the day, it could really just come down to a last minute thing, as we saw last week, where the president's comments and the back and forth really developing in real time with these back and forth negotiations. Um, Kevin, even if they meet, good morning to you, even if they meet in Singapore June 12th, what will each side ask of the other one and how do we measure success? Well, success in the long term is whether or not North Korea denuclearizes. Now, how they want to do that is they want to lure in investment. They want they don't even barely have an economy. So in order to get an economy and in order to, to give up their, their nuclear weapons programs, they need that outside investment. And quite candidly, uh, that the two top targets of that are, uh, are, are the United States and China. You know, the, what economy North Korea has, it's directly linked to the Chinese at more than 90 percent of exports and imports coming directly from China. But so the U.S. is pre fully prepared to walk away. And Democrats, by the way, agree with that notion, as do Republicans, that if Kim Jong-un isn't willing to play ball in terms of denuclearization, the U.S. can just walk away. Now, what's interesting here is the comments that President Trump made on Saturday night to reporters. And very quickly, Francine, I would note, he said he was a bit frustrated with Chinese President Xi Jinping as a result of kind of, you know, poking the United States a little bit with regards to this summit meeting. That's where the U.S. trade policy with China gets really interesting ahead of this summit.